Is AI an efficiency too, or a companion? The truth is, it's both. Founders are using it to streamline operations and make smarter decisions. Moms are using it to plan family vacations. And Gen Z, they're turning to it for advice about relationships, identity, and purpose. AI isn't just helping us work faster, it's helping us think differently. According to OpenAI's latest research with Harvard economists, over 700 million people use ChatGPT every week, and more than three quarters of all interactions are for guidance, information, or writing support. Only 30% of people use it primarily for work. That means the other 70% are using AI in personal, emotional, or creative ways to organize, express, or simply feel understood. Women now make up the majority of ChatGPT's users worldwide, a complete reversal from its early adopter base of mostly male technologists. And people under 26 account for nearly half of all users. Here's the most eye-opening statistic, a Carnegie Mellon study found that the average American would need to be paid $98 to give up ChatGPT for just one month. That's not convenience, that's dependence. AI is becoming something people feel they need, not just to work, but to function. So what happens when a generation grows up asking AI for advice before asking a friend? What happens when founders rely on it for strategy before instinct? The question isn't whether AI is helping, it's how it's changing the way we think, decide, and create. Will it make us more efficient, more productive, even more intelligent? Or will we become too reliant on a system that dulls our intuition, creativity, and critical thought? Every revolution starts the same way. The iPhone connected us, but also consumed us. Social media gave everyone a voice and created endless noise. And AI is the next revolution, the intelligence revolution. And like the tools before it, it'll be used wisely by some and carelessly by many. You know, both will change the world, too, but in very different ways. The real question is, how will you use it to automate your life or to amplify it? Because AI isn't replacing human intelligence, it's merging with it. And the future won't belong to the machines or the humans alone. It'll belong to the ones who learn to think with both. I'm Zach Schaefer, and this is where we explore systems, strategy, and the human side of technology. Subscribe if you're ready to build smarter and think deeper.